though it is time for slow sunday because slow saturday would not have worked yesterday yesterday i was with the healthy hands crochet workshop for most of the day and when i got home it was nearly time for the rugby to start so it's a slow sunday today yes okay so what's happening in my world well i trust you have seen the new website I got a bee in my bonnet and decided that the Ilona Slow Life Creations website was looking very drab and old fashioned and out of date and she really needed a little bit of tender loving care and a makeover and a facelift and whatever. So um, that's what she got. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Um, it took me two weeks to redo everything. All the content that was on the website is not yet back on the website, especially as far as free patterns and um, tutorials are concerned. But they will come. Some of the um, some of the free projects I would like to remake for the sake of better photos. Um, obviously, that's going to take time. And. Um, the tutorial content will come as I get time for it, but the most important ones are already there and new ones will be added as we go along here. So I really, um, I'm very happy with the website the way it's looking now. I think it's quite nice and modern. And for all the South African followers that have been asking for a way to purchase the patterns in South African Rand or Zar. Um, instead of paying US dollars on Ravelry, you can do that now on my online shop. I've opened an online shop with my patterns and my workshops only. There won't be any products there as I don't have a yarn shop anymore. And I don't want to sell yarn at all. Neither do I want to sell kits or anything like that. But, um, well, you never know. Never say never. Kits might be there for whatever reason. But... Um, yeah, the patterns are, are there. Most of my patterns are already there. There are a few left on Ravelry that are not yet on my website. But those are the very old ones, um, very small ones, whatever. Most of them are on my website. So you can buy the pattern now in Zar on my website. Now, if you're an international follower um, and you don't want to buy on Ravelry for whatever reason, uh, Everything that's on my website is on Ravelry, so you can buy on, on Ravelry in US dollar. But if you want to buy on my website, or maybe at some stage there will be something else there, there is a little widget on the right hand side with the um, exchange rates. I do not have a currency switcher on my website, so you will still be shopping in Zar, but you can see more or less what it will be. And the exchange rate is absolutely on your side. It's not on our side. We are suffering here at the south end of Africa. The exchange rates are horrid. Okay, so on the new website as well, there's a widget where you can sign up for a newsletter. Now, if you have previously received newsletters, newsletters from me, that's not to say you will receive it again. I've started a brand new list, so you will need to go and resubscribe. Um, I wanted to make sure that the people who receive the newsletters now absolutely want them. So go and resubscribe on my website. It's very quick and easy to subscribe. The newsletter will come out on the first of every month. And what will be in the newsletter is events in the coming month. There will be a special on patterns of some sort for the coming month and there will be block highlights of the previous month in case you've missed something um, like a free pattern that was on the blog or whatever that that's what will be in the newsletter more or less so it's worth your while signing up I'm not going to spam you spam you your inbox will not be flooded with emails it will be once a month I don't think I would go more than that I really have to maintain a good pace um, working full-time has changed my life quite a bit and it's it's actually difficult adapting I must say I sat the other day and I thought sure last year in um, the winter time I designed let's talk purple bespoke 
uh, Rebel Henley. And then when the summer started, I did the stripy chick, the plain Jane crew neck, the plain Jane V neck. I can't remember what else. For this entire winter, I've knitted one one garment, and it's not even done yet. Uh, just um, yeah, I will need to manage my time a little bit better to put out what I want to put out. I've still got yarn in my cupboard, emerald green which is a double knit and a kit silk and I've got a cherry red cotton erin with a kit silk and I've got a grey merino and kit silk I was crazy with kit silk last year I bought a lot of it and I've got just kit silk for another jersey those are four that I know what I want to do with it, but I just didn't get to it this winter. I just didn't get to it. And now the winter is on its way out the 1st of September. It will be spring in South Africa. So the only one I um, will get finished, because it's not yet finished, <laughs> is the um, cardigan, the double-breasted cardigan. It's nearly done. Um, I finished the sleeves. Sorry, let me just fiddle with this. It has not been... Um, finished yet it's still full of full of um, tails hanging out everywhere as you can see so yeah this this will be a nice double-breasted cardigan I've bought buttons for it but blimey I can't find it I don't know what I've done with it so you can see that it's not closing at the moment because there's a double-breasted piece that has to come here that will fold over and it will be a nice roll over collar so I've only got the collar double-breasted piece left to do and find the buttons that I don't know where I've put them. Does it go in your house like that as well? I know it does not Claire's house. Claire is a good friend of mine. And the other day she was moaning about yarn that she bought and she couldn't find it anywhere. And eventually she gave up. She went through her entire house twice and she couldn't find the yarn. And when she was looking for something else, there was a brown paper bag and in the brown paper bag she found the yarn when she didn't need it at that moment. That's Murphy's Law. When you want it, you can't find it. And when you don't need it, you will trip over it. And I suppose something like that is going to happen with my buttons as well. I don't know. I'll find them somewhere. But they are big yellow wooden buttons. Mustard colored buttons. It looks beautiful with that. So I'm actually quite um, excited to get it done. I don't know when I'm going to wear it. Probably next year because now it's warming up already. It's no longer cold here where we are. But anyway... So that pattern you can look forward to. It should still come out this month, some way through September. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it in August. I'll see. <laughs> I don't want to promise. <laughs> so towards the end of August, maybe September, we'll get a pattern. <laughs> okay, then I'm also still busy with the Cable Me Cozy cowl. It's a knitted cowl that's going to come out not too long. And that one is with the Moya Caress. Now Moya Caress is a lovely cotton to work with if you want to knit a blanket. Ish. I personally don't like crocheting with a textured yarn like that. It, it, I just don't like it. But I love knitting with it. Especially if you hold a double strand. Ooh, that makes a nice blanket. This is actually the second one I've made. The first one is on my website and it's on Ravelry. You can go look at it. It's called Erin Caress. Erin Caress Cable Afghan or something like that. Erin Caress something. And that thing has been through a lot. It has been used consistently, washed consistently, and it's still extremely nice. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to get Cable Me Cozy done. We are actually going to go camping for 10 days towards the end of September, and that's the only project that I'm going to take with me. So that's what she says now. Um... I want to get that done as soon as possible because I've got another big project planned. A wacky weave. Yeah, I think I took a long enough break now from wacky weave. Um, I miss it. And I've got a design that I've had in my head now for two years that I haven't done anything with and it's just steadily growing and developing and it's now at the point where I've actually got a group of testers together and we are starting to 
to think about colors and kits and whatever and I'm working on the diagram and so yeah that will happen early next year I will not get to that in the last month of this year now um, I'm looking forward to it I think it's going to be great to have a proper cowl again and release a section a week or two sections a week or whatever we'll see it depends on how many sections I end up with I'm still drawing so I'm still enjoying myself immensely but I have decided on a color scheme for my my, my. so um, what happened was <laughs> you know we try to cater for everybody's tastes when you design a color like that you want to cater for the blues and and uh, the greens and the browns and um, the boho and the pastels you, you want to accommodate all of those people and the pinks and the purples so i always allow the the testers to choose first because you must like what you're working with otherwise you're not going to enjoy working up this blanket for testing purposes so you must like the color you're going to use the thing afterwards so the only kit that was left was pink and purple and I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do the pink and purple. Hmm. I'm not a pink person at all. You can see it in my specs. If it's a Reese pink like this, yeah, that's another story. But a pink, yeah, no, 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 no. So, <clears throat> I, I will still sort that out. But I've decided what I'm going to do. Do you think that's me? <laughs> I love yellow and I love orange and I love grey and I love something bright like lime green so this is going to be my one I'll find another tester to do the pink <laughs> somewhere there must be a tester that loves the wacky weave and she will do the pink yeah I'll, I'll find one I'm not going to do the pink no okay what else did I want to tell you okay there's another workshop coming up in September on the 16th of September in the Midrand area and that is the um, Healthy Hands Knitting Workshop. It is how to improve your knitting style if necessary to eliminate um, pain and fatigue in your hands. Um, just making you aware of some hot spots that you can then uh, be on the lookout for and evaluate yourself and improve where necessary so that you can have a longer um, time of knitting pleasure. We did the crochet one yesterday and in the month of September it's the knitting one and after that the healthy hands workshop I'll see if I'm going to book them again we're not sure yet but they definitely will come next year is wacky weave workshops. There's a whole lot of um, crocheters in the market who has never done Mackie Weave, who's never heard about it. I've, I, I realized that again yesterday in the workshop where somebody spoke about Wacky Weave and the rest was like, what's that? So it's, um, we, we want to give the, the newbies a chance to learn the technique. Uh, it is nicer to learn it in a physical workshop than in a virtual workshop. But the free tutorial is still on my website. You can still do it there. It will always be there. Um, yeah, we'll see. But I'm, I'm definitely going to do Wacky Weave workshops in person. So if you want me to do a workshop wherever in your town you are, um, you can contact me and talk to me about it. If you will help me arrange it, arrange the venue, arrange the food and whatever, then we can talk about the, the finances and everything else that go along with it. I'm happy to travel if it's worth my while. I'm obviously not going to travel down to the Cape for two people. That's That doesn't make financial sense. It's not economically viable. All right. I don't want to tell you what the Wacky Weave is going to be about. I don't even want to give you the name because if I give you the name, you will be most people in South Africa will know exactly what it's going to be. And the overseas people will have to Google just one word and they will see what it's going to be. So I'm keeping that one a little bit of a secret for now until we are further down the road. Yeah, just keeping the cards close to the chest thing, you know. Yeah. Okay, what you can also look forward to on the new website is guest blogging. I've approached a couple of people already that I think would be interesting bloggers. 
you know, um, you might not be a designer, so always reading a blog written by a designer might not be that interesting as to read a blog from somebody that's in the same uh, circumstances or situation as you you are. So uh, I've invited some guest bloggers and their blogs will start coming thick and fast and the blogs will appear about once in a week. I don't want to do more than that. Once a week is completely fine. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. There's a Facebook page for Ilona Slow Life Creations and there's a Facebook group for Ilona Slow Life Creations where we actually host the calls and things like that. And obviously my YouTube channel is there, my Patreon is there and all of those links you will get on the website. So the website is easy, Ilona Slow Life Creations dot co dot za, not dot com co.za right and that is all the news from me now i'm going to play with my new wacky weave design seeing that it is sunday i don't gonna i'm not gonna work at all i don't feel like it my husband has got some tv shows that he wants to catch up on i don't watch fantasy i don't watch fiction i don't read fiction not at all it's just don't like it but he's he's into these fantasy things like lord of the rings and game of thrones and whatever have you he's now watching one merlin something like that so yeah on a sunday i give him some space he can watch his merlin and then i fiddle with ilona things that make me happy yes i'm not going to work today i'm going to fiddle with ilona things that make me happy um let me show you what i've got packed up beside me. I've got four cases like this to build kits with. There's over 400 colors that I can choose from. Isn't that fun? Surely you can agree with me that now that's the way to spend your Sunday. Yeah. So I'm going to start looking at kit options and fiddle with my diagram and dream about my blanket. And that to me is a slow Sunday. I'm just going to sit and enjoy my yarn. And then when I'm done here, I'll go and pick up the collar for my cardigan and get the damn thing finished. It really needs to get done now. It's been weeks weeks i don't think i've ever taken this long to finish a design it's always a first day all right i hope you are going to enjoy your month i'll see you on the third saturday in september uh, either the 16th of september the saturday probably the 17th of september for a slow sunday i think that will be a better option and then remember to visit the website and remember to sign up for the newsletter. The first one will come out on the 1st of September. Have a blessed Sunday. I'll see you soon.